Good afternoon and welcome to this concert of the Kansas Mennonite Men's Chorus. I'm Mike Lamb and I serve on the steering committee for our chorus. So on behalf of all of us, thank you for joining us this afternoon. KMMC is 55 years old this year and we have 150 members from all across Kansas and two from Colorado. We are bus drivers and teachers and farmers and doctors and as you might guess from the chorus, many of us are retired. <laughs> we are diverse in background, but we all share a love for Jesus Christ. This afternoon, we will share with you hymns, bluegrass, and gospel choral music in four-part harmony, along with our brass ensemble, the Men of Brass, the Flannelbacks Bluegrass Group, and our special guests, the Newton Community Children's Choir. The selection Echoes of Ancestry is a tribute to the 150th anniversary of the immigration of Mennonites to the U.S. and Central Kansas in 1874. This is a medley of three songs that could have been sung by these brave brothers and sisters in Christ. There's more information about this anniversary in your program. We'd like to thank Steve Hanneman, who is with our Men of Brass, for the arrangement he put together. Steve, you might wave at everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Later in our program, we will pause for an offering which will benefit the Global Mission Relief Work of Mennonite Central Committee, or MCC. The work of MCC happens in 40 countries to provide clean drinking water food, shelter, clothing, and education. Some of these countries we don't hear much about, like Zambia or Nepal, but MCC is there. Some of these areas are part of our daily news, like Ukraine and Gaza. MCC is there. And some of the work for MCC happens right here in the United States. Our songs today might touch your heart, some might make you laugh. You might want to tap your foot, sing along, or just enjoy the concert quietly. You do whatever works for you as we bring to you the Kansas Mennonite Men's Chorus.
children. Somebody's calling my name. Hallelujah, children. Hush, children. Hush, children. Somebody's calling my name. Hallelujah. Hush, children. Hush, children. Somebody's calling my name. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. What shall I do? What shall I do? When I see King Jesus.
as promised, we come to a part in our program where we'd like to pause for our offering. A few of my friends from the chorus will come out and help, to help us accept the offerings that you'd like to provide. I want to share these words of Jesus as found in Matthew 25. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in, or need clothes and clothed you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go to visit you? The king will reply, Truly, I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. We invite you now to give with a generous heart, and the Holy Spirit will transform your cash and checks into water, food, clothes, and shelter for the least of these across the street and around the world.
afternoon. I'm so sorry. My name is Jill Siebert. I'm the artistic director of the Newton Community Children's Choir, and we're very happy to be included in today's concert. We'll be singing three pieces for you today. The first is called Mango Walk by Ken Berg. The second is Skylark and Nightingale by Audrey Snyder. And finally, River Song by Andy Beck.
Okay, so I want to thank you all for coming this afternoon. This is wonderful to see this incredible Fine Arts Center uh, basically full. Uh, we've done concerts here the last number of years, and this is what the concert should look like. This is exciting. I'm going to say because the kids are here, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. So, tell you what, we're making history today. We have the celebration of our turkey red wheat, the old Russian Mennonites coming in. We have cool history here with our uh, children's choir. Uh, Jill's grandpa, Marles, is back there. Marles, where are you at? Right there. Marles' wife, Norma, started this choir. And it's really cool that the history is con continuing, making new history with the granddaughters. Um, Megan had done a little bit with the directing and now Jill's taken over. And guys, it's exciting that you're here with us today. We're super glad you're here. The other part of the history that we're making is some of these young men behind me. So it's been kind of interesting when we see the old guys begin singing back in the late 60s. And you're going to have to raise your hand because it might be the sitters now. But guys, who was, who was back at the original KMMC? We had some here. Lee. Lee. We have three guys in the original. There's Lee there. Okay. They've been, they've been doing this for a long time. So we have history in the making. And then we have Carl wasn't uh, able to sing with us this year. But Carl's 100 years old now, right? We call it one now. 
He's one. But what's cool about that is when Carl was singing with this, and we have some guys from, I think Halstead guys are our youngest, 16, back there. So it's cool to have this intergenerational uh, singing together. Men who love Christ and men who love to sing together. How cool can that possibly be? Yeah, you can clap for that, that's kind of neat. Yeah. The whole point of this is history in the making and history continuing into the next decades. And that's what we hope we can do. There's my spiel. Any guys out there that would like to join us next year, we still have room on the stage. All right, we'll start again at the end of January next year. We'd love to have you join us uh, for this group. Okay, so now we're ready to keep going. Another part of history. Apparently the people of Gossel are really into this song, Star and the Wise Man. Uh, I just found it in the, in the depths of the KMMC music. It's from the 1950s uh, radio, Mennonite radio show. Uh, and some of them remember who sang what and who sang the solos. But I wanted the children's choir to do the solo when I heard it the very first time. So we're going to do the Star and the Wise Man for you. Here we go.
Okay, and this is really the reason I wanted to pull everybody together for this song. Last year we had the Flannelbacks join us and we thought what would be even cooler is to have the children's choir sing with us on this. Because they're even going to help teach the song to you guys. You're all going to sing with us on this song. Okay, just so you, you can't just sit there for an hour and do nothing. All right. Uh, but what's cool about this, and I, I did the same, all this together. Um, I don't know if, did Braden say anything about Jill being his wife? No? So there's other connections here. Braden, who's coming out, he's also flannel backs, plus the assistant director of KMMC, uh, and then Jill, his wife, and then my wife, Melody, has been playing with the uh, children's choir for many, many years, uh, and she's kind of been that bridge between the different, uh, different directors, uh, which is really cool to have her part of this concert, too. So, anyway, and we have Meredith, who flew in from Philadelphia, just for this concert, to play fiddle for us. <laughs> She's actually from Hutch, but I thought that'd be a good story. <laughs> All right, so you guys ready? Let's teach the audience how to sing this song. Okay, so Brayden, give us a pitch so we, give us a pitch so we can at least know where we're going. <laughs> All God's children, ready, or critters, excuse me, ready, and go. All God's kids are placed in the choir, some sing low, some sing high, some sing out loud on the telephone wire, and some just clap their hands or pause for anything they got now. And some of you have actions, you're welcome to do that. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Uh, we just don't have time to do actions in between each verse like it can't let us go, all right? So let's do it one more time for him. You guys ready? Sing it out. Ready, go. All God's kids are placed in the choir. Sing with us. Some sing low, some sing higher, some sing out loud on the telephone wire, and some just clap their hands for balls or anything they got now. So every time we do that chorus, once we get moving, I'm going to turn around and guys to sing with us, okay? We'll have a massive sing-along in the Hillsborough Fine Fine Arts Center. Oh, and before we do that, we want to thank um, Tabor, uh, Chris Glanger, the guys who have been working so hard. Um, Greg Zoki is right there. Um, we appreciate you guys hosting us. Uh, this is a special Fine Arts Center. This facility is incredible. Thank you. It's also being streamed um, via our Facebook page, Kansas Mennonite Men's Chorus. Uh, so they're upstairs uh, streaming this thing right now. So it'll also be recorded. So if you want to check it out again. All right. Here we go, everyone. Thank you for coming. All right.
All right, once again, we thank you so much, and thank you for singing. Good job. So once again, man, if you want to join us next next January, that was a, that was a warm up. Okay, we'd like to give you a blessing before before we leave, and we've ended our concert. We start our concert and end our concerts the same. This is the blessing of Aaron. Once again, thank you so much for coming. <laughs>